Any visitor to York will recognise its streets and iconic landmarks, which date back to the medieval times, which was also when the honour known as Freedom of the City was first thought to have been used. Prince Andrew was given Freedom of York in 1987. Tonight, they took it away. How times have changed, and it's hard to find anyone here who disagrees. Yeah, strip him or not strip him of the title? Strip him yeah? of everything. Really? Right. Absolutely. It has nothing to do with the city and I don't really I don't really think the people here would want anything to do with him. And like the pub of the same name, some still want a Duke of York, just not the current one. I think we should still keep it. Right. But who, who gets it? It's another no matter. Right. So actually take the dukedom off oh, Prince Andrew yes. and give it to somebody else? Yes, I do that. Right. Councillor Fenton. Oh. The decision to sever the link between this cathedral city and the Queen's second son was taken at a meeting of York Council in the last hour. Two abstentions, Lord Mayor. That's unanimously carried. Yeah. In the city centre studio of York's Y01 Radio today, we joined a chat with the presenters about the reaction they'd been getting about the Duke of York. We've had a lot of people phoning up, uh, contacting us about this and... Um, you know, people are not in favour of him retaining the freedom of the city. Whether having him in that position at the moment actually uh, devalues the position for the other people who, who hold the freedom of the city as well. Removing freedom of the city is one thing, but Prince Andrew remains the Duke of York and even the Queen can't remove that. Well, currently the monarch doesn't have the powers to remove a title and that's why we're going to have to look to Parliament to be able to put legislation in place to remove the title. But the city of York has tonight made its view clear.